I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this chariot. And it's with the sun card. Now, the sun card, with this one, things are likely to be going well. However, even though your finances are likely to be in good shape, this does not mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some of you. And for others it is. It's actually, when you get the sun card, a good time to remember to socialize, meet new people, get out and about, even if it's just online. And if you're looking for a new job and you get the sun card, well, this card can signify that it's actually right around the corner. Now, it's with the chariot, which indicates a lot of energy. But keep in mind, it's not a free-for-all energy. It's actually directed and controlled. And it has a goal in mind. So, when this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. It's about being determined and having a lot of ambition. It's also about getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Remember, remember though, when you, do, when you get the chariot, you, you're going to have to use both your intellect, and your heart in order to truly be successful. So, recent past energy between you and your person, sun card, clarified by this chariot. So the message that I'm getting is that, um, yeah, you and your person, you made your person really, really happy, Leo. Very happy. And this made them want, want to make plans to do things together. They were very determined about the connection. And they probably wanted things to go fast. Yeah, because the chariot goes really, really fast. And things probably took off fast. You, you Maybe you just jumped right on in there and they... They, they were glad you did because when you get to share it, it's possible that you attempted to go too far too fast or someone is pressuring you that way. So it, it could have been important to set boundaries and preferences and be honest with yourself about the possibilities. Yeah, but, but because you, you made your person really happy, and I'm sure they made you happy, you added a lot of sunshine to your life, um, they couldn't figure out why would um, the two of you slow things down. So they couldn't have been pressured, pressuring you to, let's move this right along. Let's go a little faster. And they had a lot of plans and hopes and dreams for the two of you. Yeah, so that's the recent past energy. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got this world card, and it's the King of Pentacles. <clears throat> now, this King of Pentacles speaks of success in money matters. It's about authority, tradition. When this card appears in a reading, it's actually a sign 
that now is really not the time to be a maverick. It's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when he does stand for an actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type, could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. And if it's referring to a man in your life or a person in your life, just know that this is someone who you can believe in and trust absolutely. Now it's with the world card, which is about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost at the finish line in some way. So just don't quit now because you're so close. You could definitely be in need of some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now when it comes to work and you get the world card in a reading, it's a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case to toot your own horn a little, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So coming up, King of Pentacles clarified by the world. So, Leah, what I'm getting is, the message that I'm getting is that, like I said, your person, they, they like that you make them really happy. You add a lot of sunshine to their life. And that's probably what they need. So, they want success with you. The King of Pentacles is about success. Um, they want success with you. They could start doing things to try to sweep you off your feet. Or maybe they're doing some nice things for you for the holidays. King of Pentacles, when it's about love and relationships, it's a very, very good energy. Um, the King of Pentacles is, is about being stable. They want something stable with you. Um, they could possibly want something more secure and committed with you. That's also what the King of Pentacles about, is about when it comes to relationships. Your person could be career focused. It's a Vicky of Pen King of Pentacles is a very, very good energy. Yeah, King of Pentacles makes a good father. So you know that's a good, stable type of energy. And this is what they want with you. Um, for some, for some of you, they're going to want to make this connection more secure and committed. They want success with you. Yeah, but it's with the world card. So, for some of you, Leos, you're going to be asking your person to prove it. You're going to be asking them to close out some chapters in their life. You want to know that this is, that you're what they really want. Because for some of you, you could be dealing with someone that, um, they might still be dealing with other people. Or they, they might, you might know that they're someone that they're still seeing on and off. Or for some of you, you know that they have others that they could have been dealing with before they met you and they're still kind of clinging on some of you you know this so you with this world card here you could be asking your person to prove it yeah you want to see them close out the chapter or chapters with with other people or other situations in their life because the world card is about completion it's about ending a journey it's about closure and a lot of you know that that, that that's going to be important if they want if they really want to have success with you and the connection 
Yeah. The proof is in the pudding. That's what you that's what you'd be telling them. Prove it. See this big black book that you got? With a bunch of numbers in it? Burn it. Throw it away. Um, these numbers that are on your phone. Well, get rid of it. All this these other women or men uh, on your Facebook or um, in your computer, delete them. Close out these chapters. If you really want success with me, you're going to be asking them to prove it. Yep. Close out some chapters. That's what you really want to hear. Yep. So, let's see what the challenge is going to be. Now, we got the hangman. And it's with the Four of Pentacles. Now, the hangman, yeah, that's pretty interesting. It can be about confusion, at being at a crossroads, one with only two types, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, this does happen. It's a sign that you need to stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, or things. Because it's possible that there, that there could be an outdated wish, maybe an outdated attitude that you need to let go of. Because any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. <laughs> Overall, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. Now, to the Four of Pentacles, which can be occurred about holding on to things, people, money, situations longer than is healthy or realistic. So when this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that you need to look carefully. And what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. So relax. Yeah, because this card, it can point to anxiety. Could be about money or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But the key is to realize that being anxious and grasping, it actually does not bring security. So, to challenge Leo, hangman, clarified by this Four of Pentacles. Okay, so, like I said, you, your person wants success with you. They're ready for things to take off with you now. Yeah, they want to make things happen with you. And you, you, you can feel them putting the pressure on you to let's go, let's do this now, let's be together. I'm ready, I'm ready for you. I want success with, with you. Here, this person's happy, but you feel like they need to close out some chapters in their life. That way you'll feel more confident in what they're saying. But coming up, the hangman, it's showing that your person could have, there could be someone that they know that's, that's giving them a hard time. Ending a chapter with them. Yeah, this person is holding on to your person really tight. Like, this is mine. I don't know where the heck you think you're going. Yeah, because if you look at the picture of the Four of Pentacles, it's the card below the word challenge. You see how this man, he's, he's on all fours. Of his money. He's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. 
His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head, and his brain looks like it's about to explode. If a huge brick fell out of the sky and knocked him upside his head, he'd still be in that same position, just not letting go. Resistant, very resistant. So you got someone that's that don't want to let your person go. So they could be confused about what to do, but I'm getting <clears throat> this hangman could be you, Leo, confused about. about what to do. Yeah. Should you stay? Or should you go? In or out? Up or down? Yes or no? Because you see that there's someone that's not letting your person go and and they could be having a hard time trying to get rid of them. For some reason. They might have ties to your person. Maybe they have um, kids or a child by this person. And this person just clings on like, like, they're this, like your person is their person. But your person doesn't want to be there. They want to be with you. Something. There's someone that just won't let your person go. There's just a strong tie that they... They're, that they've got themselves. This person has created in their mind that your person is their person. And they're just not letting go. So you could start to feel confused about what to do. Or which way to go. Or you could be confused about what to think. Like you might start to think, is your person really trying to let this person go? Or are they not? You know, are they really, really trying? So some things might make you kind of stuck in your head. Because you really want your person to close out a chapter with someone or other people. But someone is making it difficult. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Eight of Wands and it's with the Ten of Swords. Now, the Eight of Wands... It's showing that a lot of things could be up in the air when you get this card. You could feel frustrated, tired of waiting. But it's actually an indicator to be patient a while longer. You, maybe you've done all that you can do now. Decisions, they have to be made by other people. Yeah, when you get this Eight of Wands, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force it. And I say this because... It, it could backfire on you if you try to force things. Just know that sometimes our our actions, they're all in the wrists. All you can do is put your best out there. See where it lands. You put your best out there, and sometimes you just got to wait. Now, it's with a Ten of Swords, which is actually... A signal to be careful about where you put your trust. Because when the 10 comes up in relation to a question as to whether or not you can believe what a person is telling you. Or trust that a situation is stable. Well, it's a pretty clear answer of no if you look at the picture. However, you have to keep in mind that whenever a door closes... Another door opens. You could be guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself. Trust the universe. So the outcome, Leo. Yeah, with this Ten of Swords here and the Hangman, like I said, you might start to feel like something's not quite right. 
yeah, your person is telling you that they want success with you and they want, they're making plans to be with you and to do things with you. But you, you see that there's a chapter or chapters that they haven't closed out. You feel like it, they, could, they should be able to do it easily. Yeah, that's what you're thinking. It should be easy for you to just put a stop to that. Yeah, what's the problem? You're, you, you, you see, you're thinking that it should be easy. You don't understand this four of pentacles. So, you could start, your mind could start to play tricks on you, Leo. You could start to feel like, with this ten of swords here, that uh, you're not trusting what your person's telling you. You might start to feel like the connection is ruined. For some of you, you're going to feel like this is a failure. You've been defeated because you got this other person that's holding on to your man or your woman or other people. And your person didn't close out the chapter. Not yet, anyway. And I say not yet because there's a lot of communication with this Eight of Wands. A lot. Between you and your person, between your person and all and, and these other people or other person that they're trying to close out the chapter with, there's things happening. I think your person, Leo, is trying to make it happen. They're, tr they're trying to close out the chapters or the chapter with other things, people, or situations so that... They can prove, prove to you that you're the one that they want. But for now, you feel kind of defeated. And you can't really trust what they're telling you or trust that the connection is stable. For now, something tells me that things will work out in your favor eventually. But things are up in the air with the Eight of Wands. But there's a lot of communication coming in. There could be a lot of communication right now between you, your person, and between your person and whatever you want them to close out and a journey with. It's in the making. So, Leo, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this reading resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong, take good care of yourselves, come back and join me for the next Leo reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. <clears throat> also, keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. Yes, they can. You could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, The other person could actually be a friend, a family member, or maybe even a co-worker or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because, like I said, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So, Leo, I could never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. Thank you. I hope all of you. I'm wishing all of you happy holidays.
I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.